Yep, I definitely need one of these for my house. Hello everyone, welcome back to Nate the Hoof Guy. Today's video, we're working on a front foot. Now usually, it's this medial claw that's got the problem. But when I'm diagnosing a foot, I gotta look up above at first to see if I notice any swelling. If you notice here, this lateral claw is the one with the swelling. That's gonna point me to that claw for the problem. And it's gonna be right here in this white line. Let's get started on this baby. And I don't have to remove much for this defect to become pretty clear. I want you to pay attention where this defect is in the white line right now, because that is not actually where the lesion is going to be. The lesion is going to be higher. So what's the significance of that? It helps us to understand exactly how these defects form and how the, this defect actually results in a lesion. When I'm talking about a defect, I'm talking about an imperfection in that white line. And that imperfection is formed when that white line forms inside the foot. Now, when I'm talking about a lesion, that's the result from bacteria traveling through that defect and infecting the corium underneath. Now watch as I'm trimming here. You'll see where that bottom mark is, the one furthest down the foot. I'll point to it right now. That is where the, you see the seepage. The lesion is gonna be actually up here. And it's because as this crack forms, it starts to, that white line and sole, that junction, it's moving down the foot as the toe grows. So that defect over time is gonna move out and down toward the toe. But that lesion's actually higher it's because that's where that originated, that defect originated inside the foot. It grows out. Now, when that defect, that crack in the white line is exposed to bacteria, when that crack is all the way on the outside, that's when that bacteria can travel and that's when it can infect the corium underneath and create a lesion. My job now is to get all the loose horn from around the lesion cleared away and that's gonna allow that lesion to heal and it's also gonna allow that white line to form correctly again. Remember where we first saw that mark on the sole? Well, this is where it originated. Now you might be saying to yourself, if this is where it originated, has that lesion been there the entire time? The answer is no. Remember, the defect in the white line formed there, but that infection, that lesion didn't form until much later, not until that bacteria was able to travel through that crack to cause that infection. Another question you may have is, is it really necessary to remove all of this hoof material to get this foot to heal? The answer is yes. We need to get all of the damaged horn from around that lesion away so that it doesn't one, trap bacteria and things around it, but two, if we leave that there, it's gonna cause undue pressures around that area, maybe on the edges of that loose horn and can actually further uh, create a problem or a defect in that white line. We do not want that to happen. So right around that lesion site, we need to get all of that, that loose horn removed so that that defect doesn't continue over time. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put a block on this other claw. What that's gonna allow it to happen is all the pressure removed from that injured claw. That's gonna allow then 
that not only for no pressure to be put on that injured claw, but it's going to also allow that white line and sole uh, junction to form without anything uh, impeding that, without any pressures being applied to that. That's going to allow this foot to get off to the right start, and hopefully we don't have to deal with this ever again. The salicylic acid, that's used as a prophylactic measure to prevent digital dermatitis. There may or may not be some on there. It's hard to tell just by looking sometimes. If I don't use it in this case, it's a high likelihood that this could get infected, and then that would delay the healing as well. I don't want that. So I'm going to wrap that, protect just in case. That way we don't have to worry about this cow relapsing and having this go on for a long period of time. Take a look here. You can see the relief that that block gives. That infected area It's not even touching the ground. I'll over to let her go. You can see she's still got a little bit of discomfort in that foot, but she's going to feel a lot better in a few days. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and we will see you all on the next one.